Hi, I'm Ellie and welcome back to Tech Tricks channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a form with Google HTML service and submit data into a spreadsheet. With the help of Google Powerful Tools, you can create this form that collects information from your audience and store it into a spreadsheet for further analysis. Okay, enough talk, let's jump to tutorial. I will create this form on the web that when I fill in the fields and click the submit button, all data save in a Google Sheets. Okay, let's do it. Here I have a blank Google Sheets. I'm changing the title to employee details form. Also, I renamed the sheet name to database. Now I should add the header titles, full name, gender, address, email, phone number, degree, type of contract, hiring date, and department. I do some formatting. I change the font style and size. Then I make the background color light red. Alright, everything seems good. It's time to type the code. To type the code, I should go to the extensions tab, then app script. First, I need an HTML page to create the form. So I click on this plus sign, then HTML. I rename it to index. Now I type the code and then explain it to you. Alright, this is the code. This code is a combination of JavaScript and HTML CSS. The JavaScript code includes two functions. This function prevents the default behavior of form submission when the user clicks on the submit button. This function is called when the user submits a form. The HTML CSS code includes a styling for various input types such as text, email, date, telephone, and a submit button with hover effects. You can change any of these styles based on your requirements. Then this code creates a form for entering new employee details. The first line creates a heading with the new employee details form text. The second line creates a form with an ID of my form. And on a submit event that calls the function handle for submit when the form is submitted. The third line creates bold text using the B tag. This code creates a form with several fields. The first field is a text input field for the user to enter their full name. The label full name is associated with this input field using the for attribute, which matches the value of the ID attribute on the input field. The second field is a set of radio buttons for the user to select their gender. There are two radio buttons, one for male and one for female. The labels male and female are associated with these radio buttons using the for attribute, which matches the value of the ID attribute on each radio button. The third field is a text area for the user to enter their address. The label address is associated with this text area using the same method. The following input field is for the user's phone number. Then radio buttons for the user to select their degree level. The label degree is bolded and followed by three radio buttons with IDs of bachelor, master, and PhD. The following section includes a label for the type of contract. 
followed by two radio buttons for full-time and part-time options. The labels for each radio button are also included. The next one includes a label for the hiring date, followed by an input field where the user can select a date. The last section includes a label for the department, followed by a drop-down menu with options for HR, R&D, Finance, and Sales. Finally, there is an input button to submit the form. Then in the code file, three functions are needed. Doget function is used to serve the HTML content of the web page. It returns an HTML template created from a file named index. This function contains an HTML file in the current HTML page. It returns the content of the specified file. Process form function is used to process a form submission and add the data to a Google Sheets spreadsheet. It first defines a URL for the spreadsheet and then gets a reference to a sheet named database. Then it appends a new row to the sheet with data from the submitted form fields, including full name, gender, address, email, phone number, degree, type of contract, hiring date, and department. Now the code is finished. I collect the save button and then deploy my script as a web app. So I click on deploy, new deployment. Then I click on this icon and web app. I change the who has access to anyone. Now I go ahead and click deploy. Now click on this URL to create the form. This is the form that we make. Now let's test the form and send the data to Google Sheets. I fill the form and then submit. As you can see, the data is added to the sheet. For the next, I suggest you to watch this tutorial that will improve your skills in Google Sheets. If you need any kind of form, please share with me in the comments and I will create a video for that. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.